hello guys I hope you are all doing well um, I just came back from uh, my TDY and uh, I got to the color map and found it quite interesting it's a little bit empty but it's very very interesting I do recommend uh, uh, you guys to acquire it especially because uh, about Dragon and uh, Reflected simulations are going to uh, release uh, campaigns for the F-18 and F-16 I'm uh, especially uh, interested in the F-16 campaign I uh, eventually fly uh, an equipment uh, quite similar uh, to the F-16 avionics uh, the, although it's not a fast mover, uh, it has a pretty good avionics I don't have a ICP like the uh, F-16, but I have UFCP, and uh, it's not often, but uh, I like to use. Uh, so I just published in the uh, column app AIP uh, list, and I'm going to show how I use it. It's uh, not a cheating, but uh, just to increase the safety, especially in bad weather. And uh, I'm going to start this approach and uh, in Bodo and uh, you're gonna see how it works okay at this moment i'm gonna fly toward the um, uh, bodo and uh, let's see uh, how i shoot this approach using the the data on that list that i just published on the user files download okay i'm gonna pu put the link on the video descriptions anyway so i'm gonna release these things so we're flying uh, i'm quite low on fuel you see so let's reset the uh, warning so I have only uh, it was below 10,000. So I'm gonna put the altitude hold here I'm gonna set a good heading towards the waypoint I start at 27,000 feet 25,000 feet I mean I'm coming down to 5,000 feet over the, the field so that's good enough so I have uh, something to hold the airplane for me and for my list is this one here okay so uh, first thing I'm gonna tune in for the approach let's use uh, I'm gonna try to use my ICP I have ICP sing gears hard to do with VR I use a vario aero so uh, Bodo is 25045 enter that's good enough let's get to the data and uh, ATC Bodo inbound. I'm going to request this warning. To line 90. Nice. So ILS, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go for 45. And that's the tech cam for uh, video. Now the uh, ILS runway 07110.3 Enter Under the course is 84 Although the, the Jepson chart uh, looks different uh, In here I'm going to use this belly that is on the chart And uh, I know it works quite well I'm going to correct this a little bit Tiny a bit approach. I'm gonna change my um, navigation to Tekken and uh, ILS. That's good enough. I still have to put 84 here. Nice. Now it's good. That being said, I um, relatively close. I have a waypoint here around 40 miles. I'm doing my cockpit preparation I'm just adjusting slowly here and uh, let's put some light in here nice and uh, let's prepare a second waypoint and now is the, the moment I use my uh, my chart my list I'm gonna put waypoint 2 here and uh, you see I have the threshold for uh, 07 coordinates show the runway 07 north 6715 north 6715 
then I have the decimal is 996, 996, enter, come down, east 0, 1420, 0, 1420, I'm an old guy, don't memorize everything, just not give a chance to have bad luck, 061, 061, enter, 014420061, coming down, out to the 07, 26 feet, 26 feet, enter, and I came out. So here goes the waypoint. Now I know that this waypoint is the threshold. I'm, I'm done with that, with that, I can shoot my approach. I don't know why I did, ah, uh, tech end, let's see, well, it's not, tech end. Transmit receive, much better now. Now I have 30 miles to go, and I'm coming down to uh, my to shoot my approach. I have the ILS tune in, uh, the course set properly, the attack end set properly now on TR. I have the comb set to um, to there, and I'm gonna descend it to let's say 5,000. And um, you, of course, you do have on the map itself, you have this nice chart approach. See runway 25 then 07 here. It says the course final is 072. About to have uh, the the uh, magnetic declination here. That's changed a little bit from that chart to the, the the scenario. And I found out that the course on this scenario, which is true, it works fine, and that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, 084 is on the map if you look at it. So once I get over the tech hand. Uh, it was supposed to be at the uh, VOR, and then go outbound, considering Class C, 233, 8.6 miles. Come starting from 4,500, I set 5,000 over that uh, waypoint, and then descend to 2,000 uh, feet. Uh, so, uh, we are in a fast mover, so I'm going to extend this uh, here to uh, 9 miles on the 230, 233, I better say. Via nine miles, then I turn inbound to get the ILS, okay? So, let's go for it. And it I'm gonna leave it off. And uh, I'm gonna uh, advance a little bit, uh, although we are quite close already. So, um, this is not an intention or a tutorial to to shoot, uh, to teach how to, to shoot an um, approach chart, I have far approach chart, but it's a good intention to show how I try to enhance the safety. Um, once in a while I fly that platform that I just mentioned. Yeah, it's the 29 a Super Tucano, once in a while I fly it. It's not common, not uh, uh, my main platform, but I fly it once in a while, helping the my friends on the other department. I fly mostly commercial. Uh, so, uh, we what before we start our in assignment of ferry, I gather all the coordinates of all the thresholds that we intended to operate. So, just in case we have a really, really bad weather and a really, really tiny fuel, it's not the case today, we still have 8,300, plenty, although the fuel setting is way too high, doesn't matter. Uh, it's increased the, the situation awareness for the approach, okay? So, when I'm on LS, I know precisely where the threshold is. Uh, although I try to, to be as precise as I could, 1000 to go, and uh, I try to be very precise on the coordinates, sometimes there's a small mismatch, so the, in some fields the, the coordinates are a little bit, a little bit offset, so, uh, but uh, that's good enough to, to get closer to it. So we are 5 miles now to the uh, um, to the waypoint, I'm looking at the my navigation here, it's good enough. And uh, once I fly over, I'm gonna open up to the left, I'm gonna mark the, the heading, is 233, remember on the chart? And 8.6 miles on the outbound. Of course, you are using here the TECAN, uh, TECAN is not co-located with the VOR, but it's close enough. I'm gonna slow down this thing, 250 although uh, it's uh, in miles the displacement not in time the outbound lag 
uh, I don't want to be way out of the the charts 1.5 it's good enough I'm gonna start it to turn it to get in a good position okay on the outbound on my before let's go to head in 233 slowing down once we are on the outbound leg I'm gonna start to do this sense 233 good enough you are still a little taking a little bit to the right I'm gonna start to do this sense 235 not a nice steep angle maintaining the speed you have huge peaks here especially on the left and the visibility is quite bad you see you have a wind descend it to 2000 wind is blowing a little bit to to the right I'm gonna try to correct a little bit to the wind let's come down four miles still four miles to go I said I would go up to nine miles I have a good signal from the localizer, the uh, the ILS as well, the glide slope as well. So I'm trying to keep the the speed in 250. That's plenty of margin here. That's good enough. And 4,000. Uh, let's increase a little bit this descent rate. I would like to be at around the 2,500. Uh, the minimum is 2,000 on the end of the base turn to the right. So we're doing great so far. So now have seven miles, two miles to go. You see the peaks on the left? Yeah, they are high. So um, we try to increase the safety using this technique. Of course, it's uh, kind of cheating, but um, we do anything for safety. So eight and a half, half a mile to go. And uh, 500 feet to level off. I'm gonna, too much speed. Accelerating nine miles and the turn. Very good. Let's do, let's turn it to the right. It speeds a bit high for my taste, but I'm gonna start to put this way. Two thousand three hundred, a little bit lower than I would like to. And turn the base to 230. That's fair enough. I'm gonna stop offset around the 30 degrees to 40 degrees to intercept the localizer, keeping the the altitude there. The waypoint is still on my uh, HSD. That's good enough. Getting closer to it, keeping the speed, the, the altitude. Not that precise. I'm sorry for that. But still above the 2000, which is safe enough. When the localizer is alive, turning my. I'm gonna keep in here, waiting for the localizer. I thought it was alive, it was not. I'm awaiting. Now it localizes alive, let's turn back to the rate 4. Raise the seat a little bit. Raise the seat a little bit. That's close. Fair enough. I have the threshold waypoint up ahead. Keeping below. Uh, localize a little bit of displacement to the right. I'm going to correct it. And waiting for the glide slope. Eight miles inbound. Completely IMC shooting this approach. So let's see if it comes out good. I hope I publish this video for you guys. Let's look as a like. Gear down. And I'm gonna start to look for my five degrees here, uh, three degrees I mean. And remember, descent rate you correct with the engine and the speeds with the trim. I'm too fast, I'm trim pitch up. When you send it too much, I add power. And the other way around. Let's increase a little bit of power, you see. Now I have the glide slope where I want. On the speed, looking at the threshold, it's still 5.7 miles, and I'll 
try to work my way out, increasing the seat a little bit more. And the lights on. I don't request when it, when it get closed there. Not too much, we're getting high, correcting. Reduce the edge a little bit. The speed is basically good. I'm on the donut to the left here. Still high a little bit. I'm looking at my pitch ladder, close it to four until I get to, to the lights up again. I got back, so I'm gonna raise it a, lo a little bit. I'm slow. I'm a bit low now, correcting. Do not chase all over the place, but try to be steady. Now I'm in a better position. Two and a half degrees, it's pretty close to three. It's pretty close to be stable. Shooting approach, three miles inbound. Let's request a la the landing. And here goes the flight slope. Let's go for it. Let's correct, I'm high, correcting. Okay, 10, ten knots. Now I'm back into the, the, the glass slope, getting low, adding power, a little bit low, a little bit low, correcting. Speed is good, 500 feet, stable, kind of, but uh, I'm a little bit low, a little bit to the right, correct. Getting low. I forgot to set my altitude. Warning reset. I was supposed to set that at 100 feet. I'm getting very low, but I have a space at the threshold. And I see the runway. I just adjust myself and let to the land. And we made it. In the end, it was a little bit unstable to my taste, but it was okay. I'm just correcting the center line here, and it started to break. Just slow down, and around the 60 I've engaged the uh, nose wheel steering, and uh, that's good. We managed to get on the ground, you saw how I used the uh, waypoint on the, the threshold, so that, that's it. I have the uh, one exit to the left here. That's good. And I'm gonna locate it, retract the, the spoilers, the speed brake, I mean. And I, I can vacate here. A little bit closer to the edge, but that's alright. <laughs> and we got it to Bodo. Uh, so, guys, that was it that I was, uh, uh, had an intention to show to you was not that precise, but it was good enough, so you have an idea how to use that AIP uh, chart. Of course, this is non-official, uh, not based on the real data. Uh, it's based on the DCS uh, column map coordinates, but uh, that's how I intended to use that to enhance my safety in a really bad weather. Okay, thank you ver very much for staying with me all this time, and I hope you to see you next time. Thank you.